Fractal Bitcoin will enable OpCat when the mainnet goes live next month in September, as voted by the majority of the community members. Activating this opcode is extremely bullish on positive news for developers, entrepreneurs, and traders within the Bitcoin ecosystem. You see, OpCat will allow for the creation of advanced DeFi applications and provide a permanent solution to the challenges associated with trading tokens on Bitcoin and allow more liquidity to flow within the ecosystem. In this video, I will explain in great detail what OpCat is, why it's needed, and how it has the potential to trigger an immediate bull run within the Bitcoin ecosystem. Francis Dune Uncensored! Welcome back to another video here at Francis Dune Uncensored, where we do have tomorrow's newspapers today. This is also called the Smart Money Channel. If you're new here, do yourself a favor by liking, subscribing, and also smashing the bell notification button so you don't miss out on exclusive content like this that's going to put you ahead of the crowd when it comes to the next best thing in crypto, and that definitely is Fractal Bitcoin and the enablement of OpCats. So there's a ginormous huge buzz surrounding Fractal Bitcoin right now, and that's in large part due to something called OpCat, which is an opcode that is often described as an upgrade for Bitcoin that could allow native smart contract capabilities on Bitcoin layer 1 or even frameworks that are compatible with Bitcoin like a fractal Bitcoin. Currently Bitcoin stack based language or scripting language has very limited functionality due to the restrictions of the stack size and the amount of opcodes that's available on Bitcoin layer 1. For example, basic exchange of value in a linear form such as sending and receiving tokens or assets is the main useful function that can be executed on Bitcoin layer 1. But this all changed in November of 2021 with the Taproot upgrade. Fast forward to the following year in 2022, Casey Rodemore introduced the Ordinal Theory. This now allows individual Satoshis to be tracked and transferred via a serial number. This innovation now allowed users to inscribe data directly onto the Bitcoin's blockchain. These types of data include images, text files, games, and even Bitcoin NFTs. This breakthrough then led to the discovery of fungible tokens on Bitcoin, which was discovered by the mountain goat himself, Domo. <laughs> you see, the ordinal theory and ord clients did not have fungible tokens in mind when it was designed, and as a result, today, trading tokens on Bitcoin are still listed for sale in an NFT format on popular marketplaces like Magic Eden, which is an NFT marketplace platform and not a liquidity pool. The original design for ordinals was intended for trading NFTs because Bitcoin lacks the advanced smart contract functionality needed to trade tokens in a liquidity pool setting. Enabling OpCat addresses these issues. What many newcomers may not realize is that OpCat was originally part of the Bitcoin scripting system. However, in 2010, Satoshi Nakamoto disabled this feature due to the concerns about potential denial of service or also known as DDoS attacks. If OpCat is re-enabled, this will enhance functionality and scalability for Bitcoin transactions. However, to reintroduce and activate this upgrade, there must be consensus within the Bitcoin community, which is unlikely to occur anytime soon on Bitcoin's main chain. But here is where Fractal Bitcoin truly shines and why they're making their name and presence felt currently in the Bitcoin ecosystem. According to the official Fractal Bitcoin's website, they describe themselves as the only Bitcoin scaling solution that uses the Bitcoin Core code itself to recursively scale unlimited layers on top of the world's most secure and held blockchain. Fractal Bitcoin gradually turns into a scalable computing system while keeping things really consistent with the Bitcoin's main chain. Now, this includes using the same Bitcoin Core code, proof of work consensus algorithm, and SHA 256. Fractal Bitcoin will be cheaper, faster, scalable, and as you might guess, more programmable due to the activation of OpCat. This change was approved by a landslide vote from the Fractal Bitcoin community in a Twitter poll. Scrypt, which is a company who specializes in Bitcoin smart contracts and OpCat, will be assisting the Fractal Bitcoin team with this activation. The CAT in the operational code OpCat is short for concatenate. When we look up that word in the dictionary, it is defined as to link things together in a chain or series. In this case, OpCat is linking or joining two elements or strings of data in a script. This now allows for creating complex agreements, which are rules, conditions, laws, and functions on how value can be exchanged or transferred across the network. 
Ultimately, Opcat will enhance utility within any Bitcoin compatible network, similar to what the Taproot upgrade did with Ordinals in 2021. Opcat has the potential to introduce new layers of functionality and innovation to Bitcoin. This includes unforeseen advanced DeFi applications, such as liquidity pools, lending and borrowing, staking, stable coins, and even large scale games or metaverses. Another cool example for an Opcat application could involve return functions that execute automation. For example, if a perpetrator was to somehow access your private keys and gain possession of your digital assets, you can concatenate or opcat data sets coded with a return function, which then automatically sends your assets to a secured and safe address before the perpetrator has any chance to drain your wallet. Another example that comes to mind that could really display and showcase the power and innovation of opcat is its ability to create bridging mechanisms between blockchains. Now with Opcat enabled, we can build bridges such as connecting the Solana blockchain to the Bitcoin blockchain. Come on DGENs, come on over. Or Bitcoin to Solana, right? As well as Bitcoin to Ton and vice versa. This creates a pathway for liquidity to flow seamlessly between different blockchains. Something that currently cannot be done due to the constraints of Bitcoin Layer 1. It's also very important to note that Opcat not only enables advanced programmability for Bitcoin compatible frameworks, but also offers space saving features. This capability optimizes data storage, allowing for efficient processing that particularly works best in high frequency transactional environments. Fractal Bitcoin combined with the activation of Opcat is destined to breed innovation and unleash creativity within the Bitcoin ecosystem. This is great news for developers and entrepreneurs because it will eventually attract traders and users from other blockchains over to Bitcoin. Look, at the end of the day, in order for fungible tokens to be successful, you must have fast and cheap transactions. There's just no way around that. If you really want to succeed in this game and to achieve a true network effect, you need four of these ingredients. You need programmability, you need scalability, you need cost efficient transactions, and you need fast blocks. This will definitely onboard all the other DGENs and traders from other chains over to Bitcoin, but it has to be cheap and it has to be fast. Imagine a network that mirrors the same properties as Bitcoin, but with the required tweaks and enhancements to make trading fast, trading cheap, programmable, and scalable. And oh yeah, the ability to trade within liquidity pools. Well, that is precisely what Fractal Bitcoin and the activation of Opcat will provide. We are on the cusp of a new era of innovation within the Bitcoin ecosystem. An ecosystem that needs it the most. Francis Dune Uncensored.